Good morning, folks. Today we'll be hitting ozone impacts, Bepi Colombo's latest pass by Mercury, a prediction of major solar flares, and the return of a satellite to operation. But of course, we've also got space weather and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Much quieter day. As we discussed yesterday, the decaying sunspots and lack of unstable plasma filaments is taking the eruptive activity and solar flaring down further and further. Wouldn't expect major flares today, eyeing smaller eruptive behaviors. But folks, check this out. Today is hopefully the last day we're showing GOES SUVI in the regular because the SDO coming back online. That was it. Stanford had fixed their issue and the best satellite in solar watching history is now back online. It's kind of insane how much better it is on the right than the goes on the left, even though SDO was launched more than a decade earlier. Sun watching is back to peak, at least in UV wavelengths. We're still going to gong since the HMI instrument is still not back. Big northern spot, not looking so big anymore. Quick seismic note. Folks, this thing is still going on in Ethiopia. This multi-day quake swarm is right on the East African Rift. Hopefully, it is one of those periodic, long-period rumbles and not the start of something bigger. Folks, Bepi Colombo's sixth flyby of Mercury was yesterday. This was a critical moment. This latest pass was designed to slow the craft so that next year, its orbital insertion is perfect and it can begin diagnosing Mercury's magnetic field. We need that big time. Mercury is the only planet we don't have good data for. Up next, we're looking at an incredible study describing how ozone levels and temperature can be traced to match cosmic ray counts exactly. This not only describes why particle space weather forcing is more important than light, but it tells us what's going to happen climatologically and in the ozone when the magnetic pole shift lets those cosmic rays in to a much higher degree. And last but not least, Fascinating paper here using patterns and statistics to suggest the sun is gearing up for a multiple major flare sequence in the declining phase of the sunspot cycle. That happens a lot actually. The last two solar cycles saw the biggest geomagnetic storms in the year after sunspot maximum. That's what they're predicting here. Two big time solar flares after the spring of 2027, if that powerful and aimed our way, that would be a major event this planet would never forget. Folks, pick a time to come out to observe a ranch this year. We have a lot going on and there's more coming to the schedule as well. We'd love to see as many of you in person as possible over the next several months. Observerranch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.